Hey guys, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group in Oak Brook, Illinois. And I wanted to come at you today and talk to you a little bit about sciatica, right? It's getting to be that time of year again. It's getting cold, it's getting icy, the snow's starting to come down. So we're actually starting to see more patients with low back pain, whether they slipped a little bit, tweaked the back, uh, but even more so sciatica, right? It's one of the biggest things that gets Googled right now is what is sciatica type pain? So let's talk about it real quick. Sciatic pain is basically just named for the nerve that runs down the leg. So if you're having sciatic type symptoms, it could be anything from low back pain across that waistband type area, pain down into the glute, down through the hamstrings, and even down all the way into the toes, right? It can be at any of those lengths all the way down or just staying in the glute. But what happens is that sciatic nerve comes from L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. So all these little yellow nerves you see coming out right here, those nerves come out, they come together to make a big, thick, rope-like nerve that's called the sciatic nerve, and that actually runs right underneath that notch and then down the leg and then breaks into different branches down into the toes. So when you're getting treated by a provider, chiropractor, physician, whatever it may be, they're going to look and they may check different areas of your leg to see, okay, is it the L4 nerve root that was impinged? Is it the L5? they can actually break it down and see exactly where that problem's coming from in the low back, right? One of the most common things causing sciatica is a bulging disc or herniated disc, but you can even get something like piriformis syndrome, right? So piriformis muscle is a muscle that attaches out here to that outer leg femur there and comes across and attaches in the inside of that sacrum. So that sciatic nerve runs right underneath there. So if that muscle gets really tight, it actually pushes down on that nerve. It can start to create an impingement there, giving you those sciatic type symptoms. So it's one thing to have sciatic pain, but more importantly, what can we do here at Oak Brook Medical Group to help you? So we're standing in our gym right now. This is one of the areas that we do physical therapy with our patients. Um, obviously more athletic type stuff as our patients start getting better, we get to push them a little bit more because it's not just about getting rid of that pain, but we actually want to get them better long term so they know how to handle these problems in the future. One of the other things we do is what's called chiropractic adjustments, right? So biggest thing that I do on this table when I'm adjusting patients for sciatica treatment specifically is what's called flexion distraction. So if you've seen any of our YouTube videos, Instagram, Facebook, um, you've probably seen this done before. So what happens is I actually strap in the patient's feet there lower part of the table separates out and it actually helps to open up those disc spaces, allowing that bulging disc or herniated disc to relax, taking pressure off of that nerve root, calming down those symptoms. So that'll be one of the biggest treatments we do for the patients. Coming into that other side here, medically speaking, we have Liz, who's our nurse practitioner. Um, she can do a couple different things for sciatica type treatments in the patient. There she is, we're barging in on her. So this is Liz here. Um, so, from the medical standpoint, when we see patients doing having sciatica type pain, one of the, there's two main things that Liz can do. One of them is going to be a trigger point injection. The other one is going to be called an IM or intramuscular injection. Trigger point injections, all she's doing is using the ultrasound machine. She's going to glide it over that skin, find out where that scar tissue is, find out where those knots or trigger points are, and she uses a very small little thin needle to help break up that scar tissue, to get that muscle to relax, rehydrate that muscle, so we can actually get better motion in there. The intramuscular injection actually just goes into the glute, can go into the arm, but that whole purpose of that is an anti-inflammatory. We really wanna calm down the inflammatory process in the body. Again, it helps that patient get better faster, so that while we're doing that physical therapy, we're able to push them a little bit more and get the patient stronger quicker as well. Thanks for letting us barge in on you. <laughs> So then coming back out here, big size, well, we talked about the gym, so then this is the other PT area, the physical therapy area, working with our patients. So the biggest thing with physical therapy when it comes to that sciatica type pain is we wanna look at strengthening things that need to be strengthened. So typically it's that deep core muscles, the glutes, but then also stretch the things that need to be stretched, whether it's the hamstrings, the quads, those low back muscles, or what's called the QL, quadratus lumborum, big muscles across in that low back. So we get to work on different areas here, depending on specifically what that patient is going through. And then the last thing that a lot of our patients always end up loving and doing is Jose. Jose is our massage therapist here in the office. So you can see him working on somebody right now. Um, Jose's got a lot of tools in his tool belt. So obviously when he's working sciatic type thing, 
biggest thing, he's gonna work in that glutes. We talked about that piriformis muscle in the beginning of the video here. So a lot of the times he's gonna work and do some active release therapy in there to calm down that muscle, take the pressure off that sciatic nerve and get things to relax quickly. He can also do things like scraping, cupping, you do nerve flossing. Like I said, lots of tools in his tool belt. He's a man of many talents, um, but he always helps patients get better faster. So at Oakbrook Medical Group, it's one of those things that the reason we get our patients better as quickly as we do is because we have different providers from all different fields working together as a team. And we incorporate all those different services you just saw to really help the patient get better faster. And again, not just get them out of pain, but make sure that that pain, they stay pain free for the long term, right? So if you're dealing with sciatica type pain, low back pain, or you know anybody that is, call us at that number below. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that notification bell, like, follow the page, Facebook, Instagram, like and follow, and catch you guys on the next video.